Good day everyone. In today's video, I am going to be demonstrating on how we can perform object detection in images using a pre-trained model called YOLO. The benefit of using a pre-trained model is that it is already pre-trained and you have the associated weights of the model along with it. So you can use this model to perform your object detection and classification task. It saves you time and effort of having to train a model from scratch and then do your deep learning task. And also you can then fine tune the model and retrain a few layers to customize the model for your specific needs on a different data set. But that's a topic of discussion on another day. Let's take a look on how we can do this. I'm going to be using R Studio for coding and I'm going to be doing the coding in R. Please feel free to follow along with me. So let's see. First, we need to download and install the model from GitHub. So please we, uh, ensure you have this DevTools installed in your R Studio package. And I'm going to use this uh, function called install underscore GitHub. And what I'm going to name is the, the name of the GitHub repository. Let's see, I have an image. And so let's see, the next parameter probably it will be the subdirectory as which the directory I want to get the model from that is image.darknet. The last part would be I would need to set the build with next parameter equal to true. And this command will get the model from this repository and build it for you. So I'm going to run this. I already have this installed, so it's skipping the install for me. Please feel, feel to, uh, free to do this as a first step. So now I just need to load the library into my RStudio. So image.net. Let me run this. It's fine. All right, now I will set the working directory. So I'm going to change the working directory. This is where the images will be stored. I downloaded a few images which I'm going to use for my object detection and classification. It's stored here. So I'm going to change the working directory. Set working directory. I'm going to be using the base command, which will concatenate a vector of strings. So I need to uh, get the working directory. Directory and need to concatenate. So what I need to pass in is YOLO underscore demo, which is the name of the directory that the images are stored. Let's run this. It's not found object. Oh, I selected test by mistake. Let's run this. Yes, it has run. Now I will load the model and attach its bits. So how do we do that? First, we need to create a name for this model. So tiny underscore YOLO underscore model. I'm going to assign this name to the model. How do I load the model? I'm going to use the image underscore darken underscore model function. To give me the model, I need to pass in a few parameters. Let's take a look at them. First is what do I need to do? I need to do detection. So I'm going to set type equal to detect object detection as I need to do. Then I need to get the model. As I mentioned, it's already a pre-trained model. So model equal to the name of the model is tiny hyphen yolo hyphen voc dot cfg next i need to get the weights as the model is already already trained so i have the weights associated with this model i need to get the weights weights equal to i need to use the system dot file function to give me the fully qualified names and i'll pass in the package as an attribute, I, the package would be image.darknet as the name of the model. And what else do I need? I need models. Models. And what do I need? What's the name? That would be tiny hyphen yolo hyphen voc dot weights. So this will get the weights of this model. And lastly, I would need the labels. These are the labels of all the categories of the objects that this model has been trained on. 
So how do I get this? Again, system dot file and package equal to image dot dark net. And what else do I need? I need include and I need dark net again, the name of the model and need data and I will need VOC VOC dot name which just stores all the names of the different categories and uh, so let's take a look and run this let's run and now the last step all I need to do is make the object detection and classifications so I'll create a variable output it is uh, and assign this to the detection so let's see i'm going to use the image underscore doctrine underscore detection uh, underscore detect function of this library and what i need to pass is the file name this is the location where the uh, where the source files are, st are, are kept so that would be slash image sorry it would be image slash and then just copy the name so it's all images and then we copy the name so i'll take this one copy that and this is images so images and uh, then i need to pass in the model which i've already loaded that is here and lastly i would need to pass in the threshold this is the confidence score based on which the detections are made i'm going to give a low confidence score because i want more detections you can give a stricter confidence score and observe the outputs let's take a look if this runs yes you can see it is it has run and it has showed me all the different layers of the uh, of the deep learning model it has shown me that it has the, the convolution layer or max pooling layer layer the size of the filters used what are the input and output dimensions it showed me everything nicely and also the prediction confidence is predicted a car car with so much confidence right let's take a look at the output image these are the prediction made so you can see nice bounding boxes it just detected this as a bicycle it just detected a dog and a car let's take a look at one more image i'm going to let's take a look at one more image i'm going to rename this as uh, two and uh, two, let's go to and run this again. Let's see. Let's run again. Show me all the different layers within my CNN. It showed me all the predictions it has made. Let's take a look. It's car, car, a person, a bicycle. It's doing pretty well. You can play around with a few thresholds and see. And let's take one one last look and let's see object detection. Let's see, and let's run this again. Once again, it's loading all the weights, showing all the all the layers, and uh, let's see the prediction. And just predicted. predicted a TV monitor and a potted plant. So this is a laptop, but it is predicted a TV monitor because it is just mistaken the screen for a monitor, but fairly good, I would say. And yeah, you can find in this anyway. So that's about it for today. If you want me to make more videos of the same, please do like and subscribe to my video as well as to, uh, to my channel and uh, leave your comments below and I will make more videos on similar deep learning, machine learning or data analytical tasks. Thank you.